Hi, welcome to this clip in which we want to talk about randomization. So we saw in the previous clip that um, the corpus order or the order of your results uh, that you get from a lot of concordances may not be ideal. So either it is sorted by um, some word in the uh, right context, which may overestimate a particular word class, or it is perhaps sorted by corpus order, in which case it may overestimate a particular genre that happens to be at the beginning of a corpus. That's one of the contexts where we would like to reshuffle our results to get a more randomized sample or set of our data. And you can do this in Excel in the following. You can ent enter a column to the left of the C column, perhaps. It doesn't matter, it could be anywhere, but um, let's do it here. And then let's call that rand for randomization and use a randomization function in Excel. Uh, recall to enter functions, we add the equal sign and then the um, name of the function, which is uh, in this case rand. And it doesn't take any arguments, so you open the brackets, you close it, you hit enter, and then there is this random number inserted into every cell of that table. So here we have the, the, any random number between zero and one. And now you can use that information to reshuffle your data, either by sorting this um, in ascending or in descending order. Now, when I hit this, it will change the value in that column automatically. So don't be confused, You're not, you, you, you will lose that information that is currently um, in that cell because it will kind of continuously update. But now you have a completely reshuffled order um, that is neither tied to uh, sorting by context or sorting by corpus position. So if um, I enter something into my word class column, uh, so do call it, it's right. Right, so every time I enter something, notice how the numbers in the randomization column changed. So every time you do perform an action that will update the function in that uh, column. That can be a problem. Um, so if you wanted to keep the, the, the order that you just randomized, if you wanna keep that to uh, be able to reproduce it later on, then you should um, hard code something in there. Uh, right, so if I uh, were to sort something in the E column, uh, that would actually break the original order. And I, there was no way I could get my original randomization order back. So to do that, I tend to fix um, that randomization order and would call it a rank. So in the current randomization that I did, um, this would be the first example, and that would be the second, and that would be the third, and so on. And I can obviously uh, do that Oops, okay, so we have to, uh, it needs to be empty, right? So we can say rank one and then double click, say fill series, and that would just give a unique number to my randomization that will, and that should be different to the number that we had here because we have shuffled things around. Okay, so the D column is not strictly necessary. But um, if you have large documents with a number of columns and then you sort in some other column, uh, that may cause your data set quite literally to be reshuffled and you can't go back to your original um, randomization order. Okay, that's it for randomization. We'll come back to some more advanced methods of randomization that may be necessary, but for the time being, um, this is what you should always do to avoid a bias towards a particular uh, word class or genre. Bye.